Now we're going to attempt to build a full working Flash website using ActionScript 2.0 with all of the tips and tricks that you've learned already up to this point and a few new ones that you'll see as we start to work on this project. In order to begin this project we should at least take a look at the final version and as you can see here I've navigated to the folder which stores all of the information for our particular website. You'll notice that there is an index.html page with the Flash movie embedded on it. Part of what we're going to be looking at in this tutorial is dealing with what we call a compartmental style of architecture to load our Flash movies, as opposed to what we saw in our first Flash tutorial. Uh, we noticed how everything was based on the timeline. The entire Flash movie had all of its sections on one timeline. Now that's fine if all of your sections of your movie are considerably small. However, in this example, as in most uh, projects, um, the different sections of our movie are made heavier. In fact, most of them are light, but I've made the portfolio section a little bit heavier than normal, just so that you can see how this works. So as you can see here, each one of these different sections with their corresponding SWF is in fact a small file that's going to be loaded on top of the master file. The master file is the one that is embedded on the H index HTML page it will load all of the other SWFs on top of it. So if I was to open up the author SWF, and you can see there's not really anything showing up here because the text that's going to be loaded into this text area is dependent upon the master level. When we do open up the master level, you'll see that it contains all of the information that we're going to be looking for. And as you can see here, it's got buttons in place to load the separate websites, or SWF, excuse me. So this first SWF, the Killer Sites SWF, has been loaded by as a default on top of this. And then if we go to the author section, it loads that SWF with some external text. This is also something that we're going to be looking at. How to handle text externally as opposed to writing it inside of Flash. Not only that, but we're also going to learn how to style it using HTML and CSS so we can get these nice little rollover effects here on the hover states of our links. Um, also, as you can see here, I've included an extremely heavy image so that when we get into preloading, you'll be able to see how this preloader uh, will work once we have something that it has a substantial weight to be loaded onto it. And of course we just have the final page here for our info information. But as you can see this gives you a full idea of what exactly we're going to be working with. It's a very plain website at the moment. There's really not much going on aside for some text. But let's just cover some of the main things that we are going to be looking at. We're going to be introducing the concept of the movie clip loader. How to work with this new object to load our external SWFs as well as JPEGs or anything else. Um, we're also going to be looking at the load var object because this is going to help us to load external text data and we'll also be seeing how to load this information but style it also with CSS and HTML. As well, we'll be looking at some other things like creating this scroll bar here or these scrolling buttons which will do more than just scroll one at a time. Incidentally, you could use a scroll bar component, but unfortunately the one drawback to doing that is that it increases the file size of your uh, Flash movie by 40k every time it's there. This way we've scripted it ourselves, and as you can see, even if you have a lot of information, I'll show you how you can implement this scrolling button to scroll more than one uh, line at a time and it'll make for a much more uh, pleasurable experience for you and your users. So other than that, we're going to just cover those basic elements, the main structure of every single website. And once you know those fundamentals, you'll be able to make a Flash website, a good Flash website, um, 
in any situation, any scenario, and then it's literally up to your imagination to decide how you're going to make that Flash website work. But essentially, every single professional Flash website that is manufactured today needs to work with ActionScript 2.0 and all of the things that I'm going to be talking about here. You'll also notice that the text is being changed in terms of the rollover effect and incidentally if you're on the contact page notice that button is inactive. What I'll also be showing you how to do is to work with the text class and how to style these buttons so that you can make this whole user experience a little bit easier to navigate. So having said that let's jump into our first elements of working on the Flash project and that'll be to introduce and to explain to you the concept of the movie clip loader which we'll be using indispensably throughout the project to load our external SWFs.